As for your recent past, we have the tower in the reverse position. Now, it's interesting. I believe that Scorpio got this too, but in the present situation. So this is in the past. So a lot of you might have uh, recently moved out from a home. A lot of you might have um, had falling out between people or, you know, have left a job recently. Or this is also like in the past. So a lot of you might have changed your paradigm, changed your perspective about looking at a situation that happened in the past and you're just like okay that wasn't so bad you know you the whole time you were kind of like stuck in it you're just like this is like the worst thing in the world but in fact you're gaining a little bit more clarity and you're in a period in which you are kind of your mind is calm so you're starting to see the big picture and you're starting to realize you know because it's in the reverse position you've survived it and you realize, I survived that. It wasn't even that bad. You know, even though in the midst of it, it, it seemed like it was insurmountable. But relatively, it's not that bad. And you're coming to that realization right now, and you can finally exhale. As for what's coming in for you, we have the Five of Wands. This is a, deals with a little bit of a conflict, okay? And I believe you got this for the monthly reading, I, I believe. Monthly reading, or last, the first week of June's weekly reading. So this is continuation of a conflict, okay? So there was a falling out, and the conflict is continuing. So you're not very invested in this situation anymore. And I do feel that, you know, if you are comparing this, and I mentioned this before, this is two very, very different people arguing about two very, very different things. One person is kind of on the offense, and I feel like this might be you, Virgo. I feel like this is uh, you, male or female, and you're kind of like attacking the tree more than it's attacking you. It's kind of like on the defense. One could argue differently, but the way I'm looking at this is that um, it's two different species. They have no business interacting with one another in the first place. And secondly, it's kind of like, I don't feel that this situation is going to end well for anybody involved. So it's kind of like two people with very different value system, very different belief system, arguing on technicalities, okay? So it's just not going to work. And more than anything, you're made of flesh and blood. So I do feel that the tree's uh, weapon will hurt you more than you're able to hurt it. So just be very careful about who you're interacting with and, you know, pick your battles. Make sure it's worth it. Make sure that it is, um, make sure you're fighting for the truth. I would just say, make sure it's worth it, okay? Make sure that um, they don't really have anything against you, like to hold against you, okay? Protect yourself in general, but I don't feel this situation is worth it. You're arguing about different things, and in the greater scheme of things, it just doesn't even matter. So just let it go. Pick your battles. As for what's crowning you here, we have the emperor in the reverse position. So once again, this is a blockage. And I do feel a lot of you might have a, a cycle of like dealing with something that keeps resurfacing. And I do feel in general, based on the way this is laid out, the cards are pretty solitary, except this one where it indicates conflict. But let's look at the next one first, Ten of Wands. Okay, so I do feel that this is a behavioral change that needs to happen first in order for things to move uh, smoothly, okay? So first of all, Take some time off for yourself, okay, and really figure out, especially like taking some leisure time off. You're not going to be able to do it because you feel like um, you have a lot of obligations, you have a lot of responsibilities, but I feel that it is all a matter of time management, okay? So a lot of you might be in this situation in which you're kind of like a supervisor, for example, and you designate responsibilities out to, um, you delegate it to other people, they mess up, and then you have to come in and fix everything. So it's sort of like taking away from your free time that you've rightfully earned. And um, your mentality is that, you know, if you, want it, um, if you want it done the right way, you should do it yourself. So you're taking on this burden and you're not holding the other person accountable, first of all. Or you blow up at the other person, but you don't make the other person fix it. So the one way to get out of this situation is if they do something that is wrong, call them out on it. But you have to be mature and detached enough to realize that, okay, 
they're not going to learn if you do the work for them. So it is really important for you to, I know it's tedious, but they deserve a second chance. And in the process of figuring out what they did wrong and fixing it, that's how people learn. Okay, people learn the hard way. People learn when they have to do that. So in this situation, sit down with them, let them fix it themselves, and then you can have that extra time for yourself. That's the best way to handle it. Don't take on the burden on your own, and especially don't do the work that other people are supposed to do right the first time. Make sure they do it themselves, okay? Because you can't continue with this type of behavior your whole life. It is really hurting you. So, you know, don't put yourself in this situation, especially for this week. I do feel a lot of mistakes, a lot of errors will come up, and you're going to have to fix it, okay? And timing in general, this is something that is caught before it's implemented in the real world so that there's less damage. So you're basically spending your time with damage control this week and don't make it a burden on yourself. Make sure other people are in on it with you and that they learn how to fix their own mistakes, okay? So don't cover for them. Make sure they fix their own mistakes. As for your, um, the advice here is once again, don't take the reins on this. Don't do it yourself. Don't try to fix everything yourself. And don't get into the mentality where, you know, if you want it done right, you have to do it yourself. Everyone has their own ways of doing things. So while it might seem like it's not right to you, they have a good explanation for um, why they're doing certain things. So make sure you also like listen to the other party. OK, so don't take it upon yourself. So don't take the reins on this. Make sure whoever it is that you delegate it to or whoever you're collaborating with, that they are as responsible for their mistakes and that you both sit down and try to figure out what went wrong and how they can fix it not you because it's not your burden and um, for your external environment I do feel there is going to be a breakthrough in communication which is a really good thing okay so it is going to require a little bit more patience on your part and a little more of like you're going to feel like you have to over explain, okay? And there's no harm in that. It's frustrating and it's annoying. But you're going to have to get yourself in this situation where, you know, like you and Gemini explain things very, very well. And um, sometimes you feel that, you know, you're kind of like leaps and bounds ahead of other people because you you are really good communicators. Other people don't communicate the way you do. So give them some time, be patient with them, don't be too confrontational because I do feel that um, given the time to process and think things through, they can give you a very good reason as to why they're doing such and such. So be a little more patient, but I do feel that, you know, it's kind of like the unlifting of the veil where you're starting to realize, okay, this person is not lazy or they're not crazy or they're not, you know, such and such. They just do things a little differently, you know, and that's the whole process of working with another person, especially people who are very different from us, especially people who we consider like a different species. So it is really important to understand where the other person is coming from in general. As for your hopes and fears, we have the Eight of Cups. And, you know, the Eight of Cups in the traditional deck is the process of like making a clean break walking away in the reverse position. It is going back to a situation to fix it. And I do feel that it will benefit you greatly to fix it, okay? The only thing I would say is that, um, yeah, so the only thing I would say is if it's a mistake on the work front, make sure the other person fix it. And uh, if they get it wrong the second time, you really have to be patient and, you know, drill it in and let them fix it the second time. I know it's frustrating and you, you know, you'd rather do the work yourself and have it done right than to like delegate and, but it's, it's creating a lot of pressure on you and it's not giving the other person an opportunity to learn. So in the spirit of information sharing and learning and things like that, just give them the benefit of the doubt and make sure they learn the hard way if they need to. Okay. Don't play mom and f try to fix everybody's mistake because it's going to be a huge, huge burden on you and it's not going to give you that free time to go to that concert that you've been waiting for. So um, as for the outcomes, we have the Two of Wands and you're the first sign in which this card showed up in the upright position. 
So this is the planning stages, okay? So it's kind of like going back to the drawing board and uh, having a game plan. So I do feel that this situation itself will be fixed. It looks very favorable. And the person or the people that you're dealing with in general are very young. So I do sense here that um, maybe they were kind of hoping that, um, you know, they'll make a mistake. I don't feel they did it on purpose, but it could also be that they um, they feel that, okay, if they mess this up, you will step in and do the work for them. Don't let that happen. You're dealing with, like, people who are very self-serving and quite sneaky, so be very careful about this, okay? And um, the game plan that, yeah, once again, so Seven of Swords, you're dealing with, like, a an air sign, possibly an air sign, or people who are a little bit younger than yourself, they are quite sneaky. I don't feel that they're manipulative because they're not that slick. But it's sort of like um, they dodge responsibilities, okay? They will, they're will. they very evasive. So it's kind of like uh, they lie by omission. I don't feel they're manipulative. That's more of a water energy. So like a um, an air sign, an Aquarius, a Gemini, or a um, Libra. So in general, if you're dealing with this energy, be very, very careful and make sure that, um, you know, in the past, if you were the one that shoulder the weight and if you were the one that stepped in, and uh, fix problems, you're going to have to take a different approach, okay? And you're going to have to, like, think about the in the bigger scheme of things. What do you want them to learn? And you, ultimately, you want them to, like, um, have a sense of personal integrity, first of all, and have a sense of responsibility. So in that regards, they're not going to learn that lesson unless they fix their own mistakes. So this is out of your hands. Just make sure you do what you need to do detach yourself and let the people carry their own weight okay so everyone needs to like play fair in this situation so don't enable a, a sort of like codependent or even you know um don't enable dependency mentality so in in the people that you're dealing with okay if you're able to do this i do feel the rest of the week is going to be really good for you take some time off as well um i would say like Go to a concert, go to a music um, festival, do something outdoors related to music. You look at this card, I do feel that it's going to bring you a lot of uh, happiness. Don't feel guilty for the time that you have off while other people are like struggling in the office, okay? They're just uh, catching up on work, but they should have been doing during working hours anyway. So they're, they're slackers. Just leave it alone, okay? So in general, I hope you have a wonderful weekend and take some time off to, you know, focus on doing things that make you happy. And don't worry too much about what other people are doing because they're, they need to learn how to do things themselves and they need to take responsibility for their own behavior, okay? So especially on the work front. So just be very careful about that.